Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take. And today, my friends, we're taking a look at the new Q USB C dock and stand. Two great things that you're probably using, bringing it all in one for super convenience and minimal clutter. A rotating and articulating stand for your iPad, tablet, or smartphone, and a legitimate USB-C hub for all your data transfers, additional displays, and more. Let's get straight to it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the features of this, and of course, we'll give you a demonstration of this as well. All right, so here we go. All right, so first thing, make sure you have your instruction manual to see what each port actually does, but also you see the specs as far as data transfer and power usage as well, so check that out. As far as accessories, you get one USB-C cable. This is for charging and data transfer, as well as display as well, so you have one of these as well. Just keep in mind if you want to and your setup actually calls for it, you can use a longer cord if it's necessary. Just make sure it has power usage and also video capabilities as well. All right, so let's put to the side and now we'll actually get to our stand. Okay, and here we go at first glance. Of course, you'll see that it holds, it opens up, it rotates and turns to hold our smartphone or tablet right there, articulate it and set it up just like that. Um, looking closer at the actual USB-C hub, we'll see different ports. Your first port is your host port. This you connect directly to your PC or your laptop, so you can connect it so you can do your data transfers or your additional displays. All right, going to the back, you have your PD delivering in, meaning that if you have this connected to maybe like an external power source, maybe like your wall through a wall adapter, you can actually charge and power your laptop or whatever device you need up to 100 watts. So if it's a laptop, every laptop is different. Uh, it may need 100 watts or may need a little more, but through this device, you're gonna get 100 watts of charging for your laptop or the devices through this port. You also have an HDMI port as well. This can go up to 1080p 60 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. In either port, so maybe if your Wi-Fi is not fast enough, you want a direct wired connection, you can go right there. You have two USB 2.0 ports right here. Wouldn't use these for data transfer. I would use this either for connecting a mouse or keyboard just for the dongle to get that going. Now, as far as data transfer goes, you have a TF card reader and an SD card reader right here. These are high speed card readers right here. I'll show you the speeds you're gonna get from that. And also a USB A Gen 2, um, up to five gigabits transfer USB right uh, USB port right here, and also USB-C Gen 2, uh, five gigabit port right here as well. All right, so let's get to setting this up and show you the speeds and the connectivity of, the, of this device. All right, so first thing you wanna do is take, connect it to your host. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you the way I found this most helpful for me. So I like to have the hub on its side with all the ports facing me for easy access. Uh, let's start with my SD card. I use this a lot for filming videos. So this is a high speed transfer card. I'm not sure that, and I'm gonna show you the transfer rate on this right now. So we'll go right here. All right, comes up. And with a six gigabit file that comes out to 250 MBs per second. So I'm getting high speed data transfer when it comes to my SD card through this port as well. So let's keep the test going uh, on. Uh, let's bring in my SD drive right here going through USB-C. We're gonna see what kind of data transfer we're gonna get from that. So we'll plug that in. Okay, and with an 11, with an 11 gigabit file, we're getting about about 400 MBs per second as well. Again, this is an SD drive. We're getting the speeds that we're looking for th with this kind of setup. All right, let's keep going. I've got my USB mouse. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna get the USB hub out. I'm gonna get the USB dongle out here. I'm gonna plug it into one of the ports here as well. Now fl flick it there. And then I got my mouse working at the same time. All right, so we got one, two, three things going on at the same time. Uh, what else? Well, let's charge my phone. And also, of course, when we connect our phone to our laptop, it also acts as a uh, data portion as well, right? Okay, all right, so let's go ahead, I'll plug it right here. And there we go, charging, and it pops on. It sees my phone as a... Um, um, as a storage device as well. All right, one more thing. Let's go ahead and connect an external monitor to this and show you the setup. So let me get monitor, take my HDMI cord, plug it to the HDMI port in the back. And there we go. Oh yeah, this, this USB dock and stand is, 
is coming through all the way. And of course, well, let's not forget, like we said before, early on, this can be used as a stand for, there we go, your tablet, your smartphone, or your iPad as well. And of course, we can just turn it around and articulate it any way we want. And it's also very sturdy as well. Okay, guys, uh, let me give you my final thoughts on this setup. Uh, first of all, you gotta love it. You're combining two things into one, decluttering your space and just giving you all the advantages you can with the USB-C hub. If you're into person who likes to use your tablet next to you as you're working, well then more power to you. Uh, this is especially great if you have a tablet like an iPad to actually display video out from a USB-C source. This definitely helps so much as well. Again, I love the compactness. I love how all the ports are facing me and displayed for easy access. And again, you're getting high quality video from the port and also high speed data transfers as well. All right, guys, this is the NQ USB-C dock and stand. Really hope this video helped you out to see if this is the right device for you. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can pick up your own new Q USB-C dock and stand. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit that like button, well, if you like what's going on here, and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.